Hi, this is Sandy with It's Time to Make Sense, and today I'm sharing part 10 of the Google Blogger series, and on this one it is how to add your social media icons to your Google Blogger site. Now there's two ways to do it and this is going to be the first way and so that I don't confuse everybody tomorrow I'll do the other way and you can decide um, how you want to do it what's easier for you so they will be added like this in separate little boxes regardless of the way I show you how to do it so let's get started and the first thing you want to do of course is be in your area for your blog. Now, when you're working on a blog, I guess the best way for me to explain this is make sure that you're on the right site because if you're, say you're creating a blog for another site, I have two blogs, you want to make sure that you have your icon open, open here because the cookies are what kind of help you along the way and they know where you're at on your computer so if I was logged into my other website but I wanted it for this website it would be all screwed up so don't log out of the Google Blogger site that you're working on and just keep everything open that includes uh, Pinterest, Twitter, uh, Facebook they're all a little bit different but if you have um, the actual site you're working on open you'll see what I mean so when you're in your back area you want to scroll down and of course you want to click on the layout because this is where you add your gadgets and we're going to come to the side now this was depend on the blog type that you chose so if you don't have a sidebar and you might have a top bar then you would just do the same thing and click add a gadget okay so the problem with social media this way is some of the gadgets don't work for social media so if you do it this way you know that you're guaranteed to have them actually working so I would recommend them and then you can add and take them off as you go so we're gonna do the first one which is the Google blogger one which I do have way at the bottom here I don't have it at the top um, I do update it with my blog post but I have it right here here's my Google badge and the way that you add your Google badge to your blog is go into the site click add a gadget and then with this one all you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down to Google Badge and you just click add it already knows that you're on the website that you're working and you just use sorry I stopped here because it says um, oops this doesn't look like a valid Google ID but I already have mine on there so it's irrelevant but this is the one that you would click on and then you click save once you click save it's going to go into all your other little icons or your ads that you have here remember if you want them to be in a different order you would just switch them around so I wanted my pages to be at the very top so that they knew they can click on other ones then I had Twitter then I had Facebook and then I had Google Plus in case they wanted to add so you just click save your arrangement and then you would view your blog and here they are the way you have them okay so that's the first one that's the easiest the next one that we're gonna do is we're gonna do Twitter now with Twitter you have to be on a certain page and I included the link right here but again you need to be logged into your Twitter account for this blog so my Twitter account is still it's time to make sense so what you need to do is be logged in and then go to this site okay because what it's doing is this site is picking up my Twitter account and here is you know time makes sense that's my Twitter handle what you want to do is you want them to follow you so you would click this link see they can you can hit the share a link but you want them to follow and go so what you're gonna do is if you want a smaller button it's gonna be smaller or and you want your username of course so I want at time makes sense now all you have to do is click here you're going to copy it you're gonna go over to Google Blogger you're gonna click add a gadget and for this one you're going to click the HTML JavaScript 
And then all you're going to do is you're going to put follow me on Twitter right here. So you put follow me on Twitter so that it has a title. And then you're going to click the content that we just copied. And you're going to paste it. That's all you have to do. Click save and it's going to go again into your sidebar. Okay, so we're going to cancel that. We want to leave that page. Now, the next one that we're going to do is Pinterest. Pinterest again is another one. You have to be logged in to your Pinterest account and if you want it to be on a certain page, so I have an It's Time to Make Sense board, but I just told them to follow me on Pinterest because there might be other things that they're interested in. So you log into your Pinterest account. I got it spelled wrong. And then you're going to be in the developerspinterest.com tools widget, okay? So what you need to do is, again, you need to be on this particular site to add a follow widget. So I included the link right here, so you can just click on it inside this press release. You can easily get to the developers page. You want to click a follow me. If you click a pin it, that's completely different and they can pin something from your site if they don't have it here in the toolbar but you want them to follow you and then what you're going to do is you're going to add your URL so I'm going to show you how to do that right now okay so this is my Pinterest account and rather than scroll down to it's time to make sense there might be things that people are interested in so I'm going to share my full URL so I would just copy that I would come back over here and once I have follow, what I want to do is I want to paste, take this out, and paste your own URL. Okay, so here's mine, there's my little picture. We're going to scroll down, and again, with this one here, you have to copy both. So you're going to copy this one first, copy, go over the blogger, add a gadget, Again, it's going to be the HTML Java. You're going to put follow me on Pinterest. Okay, so you put that here and so it has a title. You're going to paste the first code here. But then we have to go back and we have to grab the second one so that it gives you the actual little icon. So you're going to copy this one too. We're going to go back. We're going to paste this one. That's all you need. And then you're going to click save. And again, it's going to go to your list of icons. Okay? So that's how you add Pinterest. Let's cancel this out. And the last one is for Facebook pages. Now a lot of us have many different pages so again you want to make sure that you are using your um, just log into your Facebook account. Once you're in your Facebook account you need to click on the Facebook bag badges right here and that is going to look like this. Okay, so yes, this is my Facebook account, but this is where you want to be, facebook.com backslash badges. Once you're here, you want to click on a page badge. Okay, so as you can see, I have several pages, but I want my It's Time to Make Sense page. So I'm going to scroll down, and all you have to do here is if I wanted to edit this to make it look different, you just click Edit the Badge. Okay, so this is how you would edit it. And then you would just click Save. And then all you have to do is click Blogger. And it's going to automatically be a widget over here. So that's all there is to it when it comes to adding different icons to your site. Okay, so 
Tomorrow in part 11, I'll show you another way that you can do this, but this is another way for people to follow you, see what you're doing on social media. Maybe you posted something that you didn't create a, a blog on, so they can follow you through social media this way. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, get to those blogs, and good luck to you.